Hello everyone. My name is Vernon Marr. That noise you're hearing is my ventilator. And thank you for tuning in. To page turners, they were not my Star Wars podcast. Today we're going to talk about Ben Demption. Yes, you heard that right. Ben Demption. That is what some fans are calling the redemption of Kylo Ren, who we know was born Ben Skywalker, or Ben Solo. Now, I think the reason I slipped there is The Rise of Skywalker is the title of Star Wars Episode 9. Many people believe that the Skywalker in the title is Ben Solo, and this is the movie about his redemption. That may very well be true. Now, before you start saying he's not a Skywalker, his mother's a Skywalker. So he's a Skywalker. Now, there's a lot that we could talk about here, but I want to keep this fairly simple. Let me begin with this. In the minds of many fans, the redemption of Ben Solo is inextricably linked to the concept of a romance between Ray and Ben. What I mean by that is, a lot of the fans who feel that, or I should say a good number of fans, it's a fairly small group, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with talking about their point of view. They call themselves Raylos. Raylos, Raylo is the nickname of Ray and Kylo Ren, and the, the concept of shipping their relationship. Now, I don't know if I necessarily agree that they've had a romantic connection in the other movies. I've done a whole podcast on why I don't think Raylo is a good idea. But, that being said, the question then becomes, if Ben Solo is redeemed, will he be in a romance with Ray? That's what a good number of these Raylo fans believe. It's the old trope of Beauty and the Beast. Now, the other day I was thinking, you know, I don't like the idea of Raylo. But then I realized Star Wars is very much drawing inspiration from mythology, literature, and film lore. There are many examples in the history of these media of an evil or somewhat bad male character meeting a woman who changes his heart and brings forth the goodness that is buried inside of him. Beauty and the Beast is an age-old story. I don't want to get too much into discussing this right now. Suffice it to say, if Raylo happens, it would fit perfectly in the mythological nature of Star Wars. And so it would not feel out of place as Star Wars is borrowing so much from myth and legend, and other sources that we are familiar with. So, I'll try to keep that in mind going forward, that it would make sense. Now, let's talk about Ben Demption. Will Ben Solo be redeemed in The Rise of Skywalker? This is the million dollar question. Well, I'm of two minds. 
Let me begin with this. I have mentioned in the past that I didn't want Ben Solo to be redeemed because I thought it would be too similar to the redemption of Anakin Skywalker. Now, let's, let's take a step back and look at that. George Lucas once said that Star Wars is like poetry. It rhymes. You know, each stanza rhyming with the next one. So there are meant to be similarities in each of these sagas. In each of the three trilogies. And so, Ben Solo being redeemed would rhyme with the previous story arc of Anakin Skywalker being redeemed. So there's that. So it certainly would fit within the context of this story. Now, many people have said they do not want Ben Solo to be redeemed because he killed Han Solo. Okay, that is taking us outside of the context of the story and stepping into the real world, and that's fair enough. I was okay with the death of Han Solo because I thought it served the story very well. And it's quite ironic that it backfires, and instead of Ben Solo becoming more hardened, it splits his soul. Yet again, there is some good within him. He feels the remorse for killing his father. Enough remorse that it is making him unbalanced. Now, it's still a very, very bad thing he did. And I understand that there are a lot of fans who are still upset about that and want the character to have to suffer for that. Okay, fair enough. But let us look then at how this compares to the story of Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker, in his persona as the evil Lord Darth Vader, massacred Jedi, killed children, caused the deaths of probably thousands of people, if not millions or billions in his complicity with the Empire's evil tactics. He did so many awful, terrible things. Killed his former friend. Arguably tried to kill his own son. Awful things. Yet, he was redeemed. So it would be terribly hypocritical of us to say, Ben Solo can't be redeemed, and yet it's okay that Anakin Skywalker was. Let's delve a little bit into a religious point of view, if you'll permit me. The salvation of Anakin Skywalker has a parallel to the teachings of the Christian gospel. The idea of salvation. Now, I am a religious person. I was in a Sunday school class once where we were discussing repentance and forgiveness. One of the, my fellow class members was talking, was making a comment about deathbed confessions don't work. You know, you're on your deathbed and you confess, I did all these bad things, and you accept Christ, you, know, you accept Jesus, and you're saved. And this member of the class was saying, that doesn't work. But another member of the class made a comment in direct response to that and said, who says it doesn't work? God knows our hearts. And he knows if we truly have changed our hearts. 
<laughs> Salvation is up to him, not to us. And I was thinking about that in regards to the salvation of Anakin Skywalker and the possible redemption and salvation of uh, Ben. The Force, I think, is like God. The Force knows the hearts of everyone. Anakin Skywalker had a change of heart, I believe. And threw off Darth Vader and became Anakin Skywalker once again. Saved the day and was, as far as we can call it in Star Wars, redeemed. Yes, we can look back and say, man, that's kind of not fair that he got redeemed after doing all that bad stuff. Well, I think the Force knew his heart. Now, some of us may look at people and say, oh, this person can't be redeemed. Look at all the bad things they did. Yeah, I can understand that feeling, but it's God who has the final say, and he knows the hearts of his people. So if Ben Solo is redeemed, or should I say becomes good, he if if his heart is truly changed and the force knows it, I don't see any reason why he can't be redeemed. It might be a hard pill for us as fans to swallow. It might be a hard pill for the other characters in the story to swallow. But I do not believe that he is beyond redemption. And I think, like God, the Force will make the final say. Now one minor little thing I might throw out there. We assume that because we see Anakin Skywalker's ghost redeemed or or joining with Yoda and Obi-Wan at the end of Return of the Jedi, that he has been forgiven for all of his mistakes. We don't really know how that works, how penance works in Star Wars. Did he have to pay for his be his beads? in some way, in the afterlife. He still has to suffer for his misdeeds. We don't really know how that works in Star Wars. So we don't know if Kylo Ren suddenly becoming good and becoming Ben Solo again. If he's still going to have to suffer for his mistakes. We do not know if he is going to die or live in The Rise of Skywalker. I suspect he's going to die, but I think it would be very interesting if he lives. But regardless, I do not believe he is beyond redemption, and I believe that there is a distinct possibility that he will be redeemed. Now this begs the question, if he is redeemed, will he and Ray end up together as a couple? Uh, well, that's a whole other debate right there. I don't really know. It's possible. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things that we're just going to have to wait and find out. Now, I will say, I am willing to allow anything to happen in the story. As long as I watch the movie and I, it works for me. If they do it, and it's good, and it all works, and I watch the movie and I like it, that's all I need. And I think we should all try to go into this movie, throw our expectations to the side and take what comes. If it works for us, great. If it doesn't work for us, great. That's the nature of art. So for me, no matter what they do, if they do it well, 
then I'm willing to accept anything. So those are my thoughts on the redemption of Ben Solo. Let me know what you think. You can find me on YouTube at Tasty Waffle. Follow me on Twitter at Brennan Lou, B R E N N E N B L U E. You can follow me on Facebook at Brennan Mark. And if you like what I've said, please subscribe to this podcast. My name is Brennan Mark. That noise you're hearing is my ventilator. And thank you so much for tuning in to the page turners they were not my Star Wars podcast. May the force be with you.